19 hospitalizations have plateaued after hitting record highs this month. Now the region's dealing with an even more serious impact and more terrible for families of the high community transition and transmission, and that's an increase in deaths. Ballot Health yesterday said the virus is responsible for one of every three patients that have died this month. The health system says over the past seven days, it's recorded 59 COVID-related deaths. In Southwest Virginia, the death rate for September is almost three times the state's. There have been 12 COVID-19 deaths per 100,000 people in Southwest Virginia. That's shown in red. Virginia, the whole state, is at four. The situation worse in Northeast Tennessee, though the region versus state gap is less. In the last 16 days, Northeast Tennessee has had 18 deaths per 100,000 people related to COVID-19, compared to Tennessee's rate of 12. With COVID-19 deaths rising, News Channel 11's Bianca Murray spoke with local funeral homes about how they're bracing for the higher demand and services. Facing the unfortunate reality that funeral homes are getting busier, I spoke with local funeral directors who said they are prepared after their experience with the last wave. January was a tremendous surge for us. Uh, we served twice as many families as we normally would. Uh, since then, the range has been within our normal operating range, what we can kind of expect from year to year. And deaths are a lagging indicator. Local funeral homes say this new wave of COVID-19 deaths is different from the others. These things uh, play out over a period of weeks, and I guess we're just starting into this unfortunate period uh, where people have been in the hospital for several weeks. But the cases that we have seen here have been younger than the first wave. Safety for staff and mourners is the biggest concern. But there were months where 25, 35 percent of the deaths that we served were COVID positive. And then we've had families that came in to make arrangements, and the day later they call us to inform us that they were COVID positive. And so that becomes an area of concern for our funeral directors who just spent a couple hours in the room with them. At Morris Baker Funeral Home in Johnson City, the small staff would be stretched thin if a COVID infection occurred. We are very careful to make sure that we wear masks. In our arrangement conferences, we have HEPA filters in the room. We've worked with our HVAC um, contractor to make sure that we have uh, high quality filters in our HVAC systems and we keep air moving. Funerals have come to differ from tradition over this pandemic, but it's all about preference. When a family comes, uh, comes to us, we, we inquire about what their needs are as far as whether they want to, everyone to mask, whether they want to be present or not. We customize it to their, their needs. Reporting in Washington County, Tennessee, Bianca Murray, News Channel 11.